All right, guys, in this video, the only thing I'm going to do is, in English language, you got it, man. That's exactly what I'm going to do is I'm going to Google empty casket loaded with stones. Uh, have you ever heard about uh, stones inside of the casket? I've not seen any in real life, but I heard many times stuff related to exactly the issue I mentioned. Now, what's funny about the Internet, and this isn't about Internet, this is about Google, is that you can't find any samples. Like when you click on a pictures, there is nothing there that you could find somewhere that would be a casket empty with stones loaded inside. You know, like fake death in that sense. Even as a joke, I'm sure you have heard and I'm sure you can relate to me, it should be all over the internet. Uh, stock images, Shutterstock, all those uh, images should pop up and so on and so forth, but somebody's taking a fake death? Probably too seriously, that's all I'm going to say. All right, because you can't see. You can see the 2,500-year-old mummy but boy on google you will not get to see stones loaded inside a coffin okay coffin okay casket coffin all right i'm gonna google coffin is next one i did not that's true i admit that nothing all right you see what this is not a single thing anything you google on the internet you're gonna get but when it comes to fake death, when you get, when it comes to afterlife or something like this, they refer to this shit as a conspiracy theory not to e be even joked about. You understand? Not to be even joked about. People who take jokes too damn seriously like to joke. It's the people that, it's a news like this that even more so confirms that some nasty afterlife stuff is going on in the rear of this uh, COVID-19 specialty aftermath. aftermath. It was an empty yacht, but the coffin was not even empty. All right, so you see that oh, let me see that uh, okay, cool. Nothing. All right, let's go with a coffin. Maybe that's gonna come easier, but I doubt it. and uh, it, it looks so just. It's the same thing. No stones. You can't see anywhere any stones inside of the coffin. This is not funny, man. This is not a funny stuff. But I'm not creepy either. There's a lot of crap that goes on, a lot of, a lot, a lot of government crap. Sandy Hooks was hoax, and I don't really care about Sandy Hooks, whether it was or was not. I really don't. I don't get into it. Government ruled it was not a hoax, and that's it, as far as I'm concerned. The conspiracy theorist was Alex Jones, who I understand did comply and have paid fine for his theory. But if you're going to say to me that what I'm stating right now is a conspiracy theory, then that would actually land you as a conspiracist. But Google, when it comes to Google, Google definitely is conspiracist.
Google definitely is conspiracist because Google appears does not want to even give a chance, does not want to pollute your mind, does not want you to even think about something like this is actually possible, but, you know, everybody knows it. It's actual, it's factual. Shit like this goes on. So, for this reason, I think it became a big business. I want to know what uh, Google sees as an afterlife, you know, literally a death, basically experience after death. Look, you see, everything is death. Look, it's all about the elevation, it's all about going to other dimension, it's all about this kind of crap, this. A light at the end of the tunnel. When I briefly died inside of the hospital, I elevated myself in the bed and I saw the room from up above. I saw my mama, my papa, my sister, my two brothers. Obviously, this isn't about me. This is just excerpt from, from God knows how many accounts out there that exist, blah, blah, blah. Google kind of accounts, but, you know, the afterlife I'm talking about, that's basically the one that government books you as dead and assigns you a new government ID, transfer you to another city, or maybe you transfer even to another country because they have not interstate transnational, transatlantic, they have transcontinental agreements with other countries, and that includes even Russia. That includes even Russia. And never mind countries like Poland, Ukraine, and so on. That includes even Russia. It depends. No avel. There, there you go. Only clouds... That's what afterlife is. That's all there is. That's what you should, at least that's what you should think. Here's a time and date. So we're not going to make any kind of mistakes. This is in Novo Mesto Municipality, uh, local at 17.32 hours. I don't like this kind of news. I think it's, it's biased, definitely it's biased. Uh, I think it's so much government scam going on that never ever before there was as much government scam that, that went on as it does these days. And uh, I think because of the death that involves lives of very young people otherwise, uh, that, that's going to be like, we never witnessed the amount of people disappearing, you know. I think it's going to be something big that's going to happen, you know. My guts and my guts is sound that the World War Three really is not too far. This shit became universal. No longer is restricted to one country or something like this. I remember the days when there was nothing. When there was you barely here or there was some star from Hollywood, somebody will pass away or something like this. Now it's like fucking excuse me, like car assembly line or something like that. And I know it's going to get worse, but okay, it's not even with the COVID, folks. If you pay attention to this stuff, not all the deaths, even if you would match percentual percentage-wise today with, let's say, like, yeah, it started to peak like two years ago, but if you would match this with like three, four years ago, even three, four years ago, back like in 2017, wow, I don't know, probably not even non-COVID related that, it would probably not match probably a quarter. I'm sure not even a quarter of what 
we see non-COVID related deaths these days, amount of deaths. Uh, yeah, I told you this is going to get worse and worse.